guys welcome to PC Tips Pro in this video today I'm going to show you how you can create a fashion blogging website with WordPress so in order to create a fashion blogging website on the WordPress platform you need a WordPress hosting and the domain when I talk about the WordPress hosting you can either directly buy the WordPress hosting or you can buy the cPanel hosting and you can install the WordPress complete setup in your cPanel hosting and that will work from there so now let's proceed further here to explain you how you can create a fashion blogging website with WordPress platform now in order to create the website first we are going I'm going to show you how you can register a domain and hosting because this is this is the two primary requirement to create a, a website with WordPress uh, doesn't matter what type of website you create you must need a domain and the hosting so let's proceed further guys to a uh, registration to register the domain and the hosting here now uh, first of all go ahead and open any browser uh, let's suppose I'm opening the Safari here and uh, on the Google search for domain eraser now you can see the domain racer.com is coming up on the top now you can read out the description here it's the best reliable affordable cheap hosting platform uh, that means you can either buy the web hosting reseller hosting or you can register a domain on the domain racer.com so I will open this domain racer.com and uh, you can see on the top there is a two option coming up which is domain and web hosting so as I said, uh, you can either buy a cPanel hosting or the WordPress hosting directly. So in this video, I'm going to show how you can buy the cPanel hosting and later on you can install the WordPress uh, setup in your cPanel hosting. So first, when we talk about to buying a domain, be careful while buying a domain because your domain should represent your business nature here. So go ahead and click on this domain. Now it will give you option to find and to search for your domain here. So as this is a fashion blogging website, so we are going to search for the relevant keyword which will match to the fashion blog, right? So let's suppose I'm searching for my fashion shop or you can say my fashion blog. So if I search for this, uh, as you can see here, that uh, the domain is not available. Now it's showing here the suggested domain which are available. So you can see the second one which is myfashionbloggroup.com and you can see the fourth one is myonlinefashionblog.com. So see you can choose according to uh, your, uh, you know, the best match but uh, I would suggest try to use the domain which is uh, you know which clearly represent your business nature and that is best fit for your you know the website because that will be good for the SEO purpose also so let's say I'm selecting the second domain which is my fashion blog uh, group dot com and then we'll go ahead and uh, click on this add to cart so I already have added to this cart and now I will go to the hosting to uh, see which hosting we should buy here you can see here cheap web hosting uh, they are providing with the minimum price of 59 rupees per month what you will get you will get the light speed plus SSD disk which is really good for your website speed and you're also getting the free SSL certificate uh, with cPanel and the cloud you know the storage here now here if you will scroll down you can see they have complete plans available they have four different plans which is basic personal silver and advanced so as a web developer if I talk about to register for a website hosting I would suggest to go for the advanced one because you can see there is no any limitation you can you will also get a free dot in or dot com uh, domain that is a domain that means the domain which I was about to register you will get it for free now best the best thing is you can host up to unlimited website and you can have unlimited features which is the bandwidth 
and here the other uh, you know the features you are getting uh, which is available in the silver package which is the unlimited email IDs unlimited SSD storage and the light speed technology so let's select the advanced one and here you can see the domain is already coming up so I will go ahead and click on this use now here you can see this is the summary of the order the features what we are getting here as I explained you previously also we are getting the unlimited web hosting that means you can make up to n number of website and with the same hosting and you can make uh, your website up and live with the same hosting you don't have to spend any money to buy another hosting you can see you're getting unlimited SSD storage and uh, unlimited bandwidth which is uh, here you can see unlimited FTP and MySQL this is really very good and as you can see you are getting the SSL certificate that is really very good let me explain you why because when you buy a domain you must need to secure your website in order to secure your website you need to install the SSL on your web on your domain so when you go to the market to compare the SSL certificate plans you might have to spend 2000 3000 rupees for a year to secure your website but here you are getting it for free now you can see you are getting the unlimited email IDs that means you can create up to n number of emails uh, which is associated with your domain so after checking all the uh, features you can just go ahead and click on this continue option and uh, there are two different options there are two you know uh, extra services they are offering which is dns management and the id protection you can do some research about dns management and the id pro protection on the internet on the google and if you think that these two are beneficial you can add or you can continue here now you can see what we are registering here for the advanced shared hosting and the domain registration and this is the cost coming up so you can click on this continue option which is the checkout and you can fill out all the information on this checkout form and also enter your password for your uh, to login into your hosting account and check this term and condition and then click on this complete order so guys when you're done with the domain and hosting registration come back to the page you will get the confirmation email that will be sent by domain racer and uh, make sure you should remember the password which you use to sign up uh, for the domain and hosting now you will have to come back and again go to the website which is domain racer in order to log in into your hosting account so when you go back to the domain racer website uh, you will see there's a login option coming up on the top so click on this login option and enter your same email and the password and here you can see it will show that uh, what are the services uh, you have got from them so i have shared hosting which is the advanced and this is the domain i got from them so here this is the uh, you know this is your uh, login panel of your domain racer now make sure they will once you will click on this shared and advanced hosting they will give you a unique address where you can log in into your cPanel account so I will just go ahead and directly log in into my cPanel account and will ask for the ID and the password so I will enter this and here you can see I have successfully logged into my cPanel account so in this uh, you know in this part I'm going to cover how you can install the WordPress in your cPanel hosting so when you log in into your C cPanel account, log in, I mean the scroll it to the bottom and in the software, uh, you know, the section you will see there is a WordPress manager by the Softiculus will come up. So click on this and now we are going to install the WordPress in our cPanel, right? So click on this install option. Now here you can see it will give you option here this is the latest version just has came up which is WordPress uh, version 5.7 so leave it as it is select your domain here in the second part and now this is the site name coming up so I will just give a random name which is my fashion so I will just rename this to 
my fashion blog so let's make it attractive hey this is my fashion blog so basically what is the site name and the description the site name will come up uh, it's a title of your website that means what uh, is your website about and the description you can write a short description about your website and now here when we talk about the username and the password you can create as per your uh, you know the comfortness but I'm going to uh, keep username and the password same which is admin and admin you can select the language according to your needs so I'm uh, choosing by default so now when we talk about the theme it's a you know it's a template it's a you know list of the all various type of templates available in the store from where you can uh, get it for free or you can also select the paid version so before installing click on this show all theme and search for fashion so okay so here you can see the fashion blog is not coming up here so I will select this all and uh, will search for the fashion blogging web uh, you know the template which is best fit so here uh, when we talk about the fashion blog uh, I don't think there is any template available which is best fit for fashion blogging website so yeah here you can see there is a fashion there is a website a uh, template available we can select this here you can see this is the fashion blogging web uh, template uh, available uh, with the theme is available here we have got three different uh, you know the pages in here which is a uh, home about us and contact us so I will select this theme and now at final we can go ahead and install our WordPress so you can see here uh, what it's doing let me explain you it's installing the WordPress along with the theme which we have selected from the list of the available themes so sometime it may take up to you know the three to four minutes sometime it work quickly depends uh, on your internet speed also so after installing the wordpress and the theme you will also get an uh, two different link from where you can access your website and the second link you will get from where you can access your WordPress dashboard where you can go ahead and edit your website you can make the changes in your website so we will have to wait till the time it's you know installing the WordPress and the theme so let's wait for it guys so after installing the WordPress you will get this screen here as you can see which is congratulation the software was installed successfully now you will see there are two different links coming up the first link uh, will show your website so I will click on this open new tab and we'll see how my website is looking like you can see this is the now if you will see carefully on the top my fashion so it was the name of the website I given now you can see about blog contact home sample place these four options we are getting on the top now here when you read your website on the title you can see hey this is my fashion blog so if you remember it was the description I wrote there now you can scroll down and you can see how this website is looking like so in order to make changes in your website there is a second link given here and uh, you can click on the second link it will redirect you to the interface of your uh, WordPress dashboard from where you can go ahead and make the changes to your website now you can see this is the dashboard of your of our WordPress here you can see customize your site so you can go ahead and customize the site from here and that is a live customization so that is really very good now you can see what else you can see so I would not say what else you can see you can see everything you can do from here because this is the complete dashboard so let's suppose if you want to add any page you can you know uh, you can add in a page from here you can set up your home page that means you can make changes to your home page from here and you can see if you want to write a blog you can write a blog from here 
at the left side there are a lot of the options coming up uh, when we talk about the post you can either uh, click on this add new post to create a post or you can select the categories if you will click on this all post that will show that what are the posts you have already written now when we talk about the media so you can create a uh, you can see the library which is already available in your website or you can click on this add new that means you can create a new video or new you know the uh, images photos to your website now here you can see the pages you can uh, once you click on this all pages that will show your all pages so let me click on this you can see what are the pages we have got which is about us blog contact home privacy policy and sample so beside below every pages you can see edit option coming up so you can click on this edit option and you can make changes to your page as you can see it's coming up now if i click on this edit so you can see this is how the page is looking like so you can make changes to your page from here so you, you can go back now when we talk about you can see when you uh, when you select this appearances you can see you can uh, select more themes from here you can customize your theme you can add add menus you can add widget to your website you can make changes to your header part background if you want to edit your existing theme you can select from here and you can make you know any changes to your theme now you can install any plugin from here you can see your install plugin if you will click on this here you can see these all are the themes which are which came up with the pre-installation if you want to add a new theme you can click on this new theme and you can search from here and you can select any theme from here and install it to your website now here you can see you can uh, when you talk about the user you can see by clicking how many user are available so it was the admin user if you remember we set up the id and the password in order to log in into the host i mean the wordpress if you want to add any user you can click on this add new user and you can fill out these credentials and you can add a new user to your website adding a new new user will help you let's suppose if you want your friend to work on your website and you want to add your friend also then you can just click on this add new and you can uh, you know you can fill in the details and you can add your friend also to work on your website now here when we talk about uh, the customization part click on this customize your site it will give you a different interface where you can uh, directly uh, you can make live changes to your website now let's uh, start from top this is the theme which is currently activated if you want to change the theme you can select the change from here and you can uh, you can select either you want to change the theme from installed theme already or if you want to select from wordpress org there are a lot of the you know the theme will come up here now you can go back and if you want to make changes to the header part and the footer part select this now here you can see what are the changes you can make to the header and the footer part you can see here uh, if you want to change the font size you can select from here if you want to change the uh, uh, header of your color color of your header you can uh, do from here now you can go back and here you can see uh, what are the other changes you can make if you want to change the logo of your website you can click on this site identity you can select here you can see uh, select an i site icon so you can click on this and you can select from the library or you can upload from here you can click on this select file option and you can select any of your picture uh, like your website logo and you can uh, submit from there now there are a lot of the changes if you want to change your background image you can select this and uh, you can select an image which you want to set as a background and you can uh, set from there if you want to change the header image you can as you can see there is no any image in the header but if you want to add a new image you can click on this and you can upload from here so these are the ways you can customize your uh, fashion blocking websites and uh, you can make changes if you want to change these pictures you can uh, certainly do that by going to your 
uh, I know the picture options now if you talk about to make changes in the menus you can select from here and you can see what are the menus you have got so you can make changes to the menus from here also if you click on this view location you can see here your theme can be displayed uh, your theme can display menu in one location so you can change the location of your menus also so this is the live interface from where you can customize the website or you also have the wordpress dashboard from where you can make the changes to your website now while talking about to make changes to the website i believe i have cleared everything but if you still have any query you can write in the comment section and I will be there to answer. Thank you so much for watching this video guys. Uh, if you like this video, please do subscribe and share this video to your friends also.